just remembered. Dr. Uh, Dr. Benzianov, people out there sometimes, you know, they have tensions and they start getting loose and uh, they flip-flop around and soon start falling out by just opening their mouth. I'm probably exaggerating, but... Um, the point is, when people like that, is sometimes people think that denture changed. There, uh, there's something wrong with that denture. It wasn't good quality. When really, what happened is their char bones started shrinking, and you know, just like me, I'm, 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 I'm adding on a few pounds. So it's not my trousers and my jacket which has a problem. It's I have a problem, uh, and that's the other way around. The things start shrinking, so you, you know, you, you, you know, now. When that happens, can you repair them and can you do, I heard about, you talked about it, this new type of dentures uh, where you can put slightly implants in it. Can you use the old dentures and fix them, repair them? Uh, tell us about it. What can be done for those people? Well, if the denture is getting loose, that means that it's old and you're absolutely right. It's not, there's nothing wrong with the denture. The denture is the same way that it was done five or seven years ago. But the, uh, the bone that it's uh, holding on to, that, that has changed. And by placing implants, we prevent that change from happening to the bone. We, prevent, we preserve a lot of bone this way. And uh, with uh, implants, as far as um, the denture stability, uh, it tremendously goes up, uh, as well as the... Um, patient's confidence. Uh, as far as the old dentures, we, we can tighten them up sometimes, meaning we can add more to the inside of the denture to make it fit a little better. Well, um, is that the ultimate solution? Probably no, but it's the minimum that can be done to the old denture. But on the average, uh, a patient who has no teeth needs a new denture about every five years. I see. And then obviously... Um, at the very least, if a, uh, you would suggest that he now, uh, these days, gets an implant-supported denture. Absolutely. So this way, uh, they can function a lot better. Aesthetically, it looks a lot better. And consciously, they don't have to worry about the fact that, you know, the dentures are moving around. They're going to come out any second. Uh, there's no taste of that nasty glue from the uh, like denture adhesive. Uh, that you know you don't you don't have that because with implants the dentures are very stable and uh, um, functionally and aesthetically more pleasing. Right, and there's not even no glue needed, right? There's no glue. Yeah, I'm gonna go and talk to you about it um, um, because there was uh, currently um, it, uh, it's actually very big in the news currently about apparently some denture clues uh, or all denture clues having a tremendous impact on the nerves. Uh, nerves. Uh, I'll talk to you about it. It's all over the news currently. Um, so that's probably another really good reason to get implant-supported dentures like ASAP. Um, you know, even if this whole thing might possibly be a false alarm, um, you know, it's just like... A, some, I don't know, it was close to 20 years ago, some guy apparently got uh, uh, AIDS from a dentist in Florida. Never really been proven, but the fact is, you know, if in doubt, just sterilize the hell out of everything, right? And um, if you don't quite know whether something impacts your nerve system, just don't use it. <laughs> yeah. You're right. I mean, there's a whole argument about the silver fillings at this point. Right. And uh, it's, very, it's very, very controversial because... They're linking this, the uh, mercury inside of the silver fillings to the um, Alzheimer's disease. And we'll uh, talk about that no, too. But exactly. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about that too. Um, now I do have to kind of like, um, uh, you know, cut you off and uh, stay with this particular topic. Uh, but um, we'll, we'll definitely touch sure. on that topic also. Thank you very much, Dr. Benzianov.